After checking a single mom's impounded car, an officer knew he had to act quickly. Ebony Rhodes was a mom trying to do her best by her kids. But when she drove them to the library to study for their exams, she couldn't have predicted that she would be pulled over by the cops. And while she knew her license had been suspended, that was far from her biggest problem. Ebony had a deep dark secret and it was in danger of getting out. Ebony, a mom of four from Atlanta, Georgia, worked hard to provide everything she could for her kids. She had a job at a local store to keep them fed and clothed. And when they needed to focus on their studies, she took them to the library. On one particular trip, though, Ebony was pulled over by the police. And as she knew she was in trouble, she immediately began to well up. The officer came to the car and asked why I was crying Ebony recalled in a 2018 interview with CNN. And I was like, because I know my license isn't good. But despite Ebony's obvious remorse, her punishment was far harsher than a warning or fine. Her car was taken to an impound lot and the attending officer put cuffs on her. A colleague of Ebony's then came to collect her kids while her sister traveled from Florida to help look after them. However, as the mom of four sat in her jail cell, her story began to circulate the Atlanta Police Department. You see, to Ebony, it wasn't just a car that had been impounded. And as police examined the vehicle further, they realized she had been hiding a dark secret from the world. After word of what officers had found spread, the story reached Deputy Chief Jeff Glazier. He realized everything was not as it had first appeared and he felt compelled to learn more about the woman and her situation. Then, after discovering the truth, he reportedly said to his wife, we have to do something about this. Initially, everything had seemed normal on the surface. Ebony showed up to work every day and her kids were keeping up with school. But each evening when she clocked off from the store, something was happening that the mom had kept hidden from her colleagues. When I got off work, we would just sleep right there in the parking lot in my car Ebony told Atlanta's WSB-TV. A lot of people didn't know that because I was still going to work. So, this mom and her four kids had a lot more than a car taken away. They'd lost their home. When Ebony hadn't been able to scrape together the deposit for a condo the year before, the hard-working mom found she had no options left. She and her kids' brothers Calvin, Jahim, and Isaac, and their little sister Danny Aja, loaded their belongings into Ebony's 1997 Buick. The car was, quite literally, the family's home. They'd eat together, play video games and hang out there. And at the end of the day, they would sleep in the vehicle. This wasn't ideal, but Ebony couldn't find any shelters that would accept whole families, so it was the only way they could stick together. In total, the family lived out of the car for six months right up until the vehicle was impounded. That's the worst I ever felt, not being able to provide for my kids like I should be Ebony explained to CNN. Because as a mother, that's your job. But as it turned out, it may have been the best thing that could have happened to the Rhodes family. Word of the case got through to Glazier from a colleague who, like Ebony, was a single mom herself. And as luck would have it, Glazier had recently encountered the head of a shelter for homeless families. Wanting to help the mother and her four children, the deputy picked up the phone. And thankfully, there was enough space for the Rhodes family, despite it being a busy time of year. Glazier couldn't wait to share the news. When he called me that day, I just started crying Ebony told CNN. Because I'd been trying to get into different shelters for a long time. No one would ever accept us. Yet Blazier still wasn't satisfied. You know, staying in a shelter is not optimal, he told CNN. I considered that the whole time just to be a short-term solution for this family. Because even those conditions weren't great by any stretch of the imagination. The officer was determined to do more. Blazier dug a little deeper and got to know the family. He learned about the challenges Ebony had faced and soon became firm friends with her and the kids. For the last year, I've watched this strong woman raise her children in the most difficult conditions, he told AJC News in 2017. There are still challenges that threaten the Rhodes family's stability. The mom of four sometimes gets ill, but if she doesn't work, she doesn't get paid. On top of that, her daughter has lupus and severely impaired vision, while one of her boys struggles with asthma and learning difficulties. And although Calvin went to work in the evenings as soon as high school was over, Glazier remained concerned about the family's needs. So, he set up a Goffin page to create a safety net for Ebony in times of difficulty. But the funds raised, Glazier has ensured that the Rhodes family has a year of rent and bills paid in advance. They also got another car when the Buick broke down. But from what the police chief has said to CNN, it seems it was the least he could do. If you talk to Ebony and you watch her, she has a great work ethic Glazier said. It's just that she was sick. And so when you're sick, you can't work and you can't make any money. When I first met her, she had two jobs trying to do the right thing. She's trying to earn money for her family.